This is James of Bond with James, and this is a sneak peek preview of the periodic table of elements for chemistry interactive notebooks. So let me go ahead and talk about what you will find if you purchase and open up the product. One of the things in there are the half sheet notes. What I mean by that is if you look on this side and you look on this side, they're both the same. So as a teacher, you can print out one page per two students. As you're waiting for copies, you can go ahead and cut them yourself, or you can have the students cut down. And if they want, they can cut around, you know, the rectangle set sheet if they want to do that. The other thing that you'll find in there are the interactive graphic organizers. Again, as I call them, IGOs. And one of the things that you'll notice is that with all my interactive notebook sets, there are they come in dotted lines. And this is the area that the students will cut only. They will not cut any solid line. It's all the dotted lines only. So here they'll cut in between. Well, really, they can just cut in between each of these. And then additionally, I have areas where it will tell them, you know, provide instructions, glue in this space only. So that way they're not, you know, if you're actually using glue versus glue sticks, they're not wasting the glue. And then I also provide different versions of some of the IGOs. So that way as a teacher, you get to choose what you like to utilize. Now, in regard to the notes and the IGOs and how to utilize them, it's up to you as a teacher. You definitely do not need to use every single IGO, and I only showed a couple of the IGOs in the product, but you definitely do not need to use all IGOs in the product. You can just use the notes only, if you're just a note person, um, and save the IGOs for another time. And what you can do is you can have the students write off to the side Cornell note style, maybe some questions that they can use to help them study about important topics. Or you can have pre-designed questions that you want the students to write themselves. It's up to you. Um, you can say, here's your homework assignment. Take your interactive notebook home, and I want you to develop some questions concerning the notes that we took today. That's something that all students should be able to do. They really don't need to have anybody at home to help them with that because they're designing questions themselves. You can also use the notes with the IGOs in combination. So here, this is one way that I decided to do it. Um, again, there are multiple ways that you can use the IGOs and the notes together. There's not a, there's not a correct way to do it, and there's not a wrong way to do it. Um, on this one, like I decided to use three of the groups or the three of the, the major families, so the alkali metals, the noble gases, and the transition metals, along with this sheet because it was talking about the organization of the periodic table. I did not glue, even though there's an area where it says, you know, glue on the back. I decided to tape the top right here so that way I have some white space to write underneath everything. So students have the opportunity to write some notes or questions here that they like. Do some more questions if that's what you want them to do. They can write some additional information about this group here. They can write some information about these groups in this area as well. And then they can also, if they have some white space on the back of each note sheet, they can write some stuff back there as well. And they can then finally just nicely put everything in there and they're done. And then if you want, you can just use the IGOs by themselves. So here I just enlarge the IGOs and you can have them write. Again, if you're doing Lewis electron dot structures, you can have them do each one on the back and then maybe write some notes about that particular family right here on this column. So again, there's no wrong or right way to do the interactive notebooks it really is up to you i would suggest doing like a rough draft and as you can see i have multiple versions you can do a rough draft have a rough draft notebook put that together and then once it's to your liking then create a final version that you want your students to copy for their interactive notebook with that said if you have any questions or comments you can leave them here in the video down below or on my teacher pay teacher store in the q and a if you're interested in any similar products in regard to the periodic table, you can click on the video links inside this video so that way you can get a quick overview. As always, thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the link in the upper left hand corner of this video. Thanks for watching.